The Frumentari, ancient Rome's short-lived secret police. From the first century to the late third century, there existed a shadowy secret police operating in the murky depths of the Roman underworld. Established in the reign of Emperor Domitian, the Frumentari carried out many of the duties commonly ascribed to shady police organizations, performing undercover policing tasks such as arrest, domestic espionage, and even assassination. Duties. Firstly, the Frumentari were well known as peacekeepers, able to intervene in local disputes and authorized to arrest whoever they believed to be the guilty party. With several inscriptions from the Asian provinces of the Rome Empire attesting to this law enforcement role. One from the settlement of Agabi Koyu from between 244 to 249, in reference to a band of troublemaker soldiers, states that the Frumentari arrested nine put them in chains, and sent them to the equestrian procurator. From slapping rabble-rousers in manacles to surreptitious surveillance, the Frumentari were also famed for their espionage activities. Emperor Hadrian was an enthusiastic proponent of this, often employing the secret service to keep tabs on the imperial household and even his closest friends and allies. As the Historia Augusta notes, he discovered all their secrets by the means of the Frumentari. In fact, no Roman citizen was safe from the prying eyes of the secret police. During the reign of Emperor Macrinus, the Frumentari were tasked with investigating the suspicious behavior of lowly soldiers, while Emperor Gallienus is said to have used them to find confidential information about his successor, Emperor Claudius. Skilled at snooping in the affairs of the poor, rich, and everyone in between, the Frumentari were also entrusted with far more sinister assignments. The Praetorian prefects serving under Emperor Commodus, for instance, were able to arrange the assassination of an individual they deemed harmful to their master, with the author of Life of Commodus chronicling how they murdered him as he was returning to his estate by means of the Frumentari. Agitators in far-flung reaches of the realm could also be targeted such as Clodus Albinus, a pretender to the throne, who was murdered in Britain in 195 at the behest of Emperor Septimus Severus. Their loyalty to the emperor, however, was not always set in stone, for it is reported that a certain Aquilus, who held the rank of Centurio Frumentorus, was sent, being notorious as the assassin of senators, to murder Severus. Their allegiances, though, could switch as fast as they changed, with Severus not only surviving the attempt on his life, but later promoting Aquilus to a string of high offices and installing him as a commander of the Imperial fleet of Ravenna. Cover stories. Like most intelligent operatives in the field, the Frumentari may have had to hide their covert objectives by assuming a completely different identity. Since frumentum is the Latin word for corn or grain, Many have speculated that from the outside, the Frumentari appeared to be grain officers rather than clandestine agents. Others have proposed that initially they originated merely as soldiers that transported grain on behalf of the Roman army, only later developing into the eyes, ears, cloak and dagger of the Roman emperor. Since part of their job was to lug grain around the entire expanse of the kingdom, there was certainly no one better suited to investigate or exterminate threats wherever they manifested. But in addition to being logistical servants, the Frumentari were also employed as couriers, another position that would have very much suited an undercover spy constantly on the move. For example, the Historia Augusta notes in 238, in relation to the rival of co-emperors Apunius and Bulbinus, that a letter sent to all the provinces by the means of Frumentari ordered that whoever gave assistance to Maximinus would be numbered amongst the enemy. As well as spreading word of this particular edict then, it is not a stretch to suggest that the Frumentari, part grain mule, part spy, and may well have been on hand to enforce it. In the late third century, the Frumentari were abolished by Emperor Diocletian to much fanfare. Although the reason is still unknown, it's very possible that the Romans had simply tired of the horrific abuses of power perpetrated under their watch.